Welcome, folks, to my van. Now I have the bed completely down now. As you can see, and there's lots of room. So I can now officially say that this van is now dry. We've had to seal in these skylights. I've had to seal in these windows because they were leaking. Uh, we're going to sort them out properly with new seals um, later on in the year. And of course the window on this side has been sealed as well. So now I'm wanting to put on um, I'm wanting to put the solar on now but uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm, I'm going to do the, that right away or no because this van's going in the garage workshop there end of the week so um, yeah I don't know about that yet we've got a little bit of uh, rust killing to do and a little bit of wax oiling the chassis I've got to get the one spare tire and I've got to get Chris to do a little bit of welding in the front right at the front there and we're going to check the brakes make sure there's plenty of beef on them and uh, then we're going to get it in for an MOT and because I've got a list of things that it had um, avoided on last time so I've already done one of those which is the wiper blades i've got brand new wiper blades on and the advisory on one of the rear tires well i've replaced that with the spare which is virtually like a new tire so you know it's once, once i get the rust dealt with then we can put it in for an mot folks so uh it's going to be very interesting in, indeed so uh, I will be doing a series of garage session videos regarding this and my Suzuki Bergman as well because that's or well, later this week that that will be all finished and done which I, I'm going to be really stoked about because that's been on the cards for a while now um, so yeah so you know watch this space but once this vehicle is all finished we'll then give it a coat of NATO green which is going to be fantastic, yeah. So I hope you are going to enjoy the Bedford Rascal series, folks. Um, obviously, there is a bit of corrosion issues to deal with, which is the major thing, really. <coughs> I'll show you folks the outside of it in a minute, if you like. I'll just get out without breaking my bed. <laughs> so I cleaned the floor the other day. Uh, there's bits of wood that go in there and they're in the house drying at the minute and I'm going to paint those up This is the the mini fridge look which is rather nice. It's all clean as well and it doesn't smell And this is the two hob burner as you can see and you've got a grill underneath and under here we've got I'll Get that out. I don't know if you can see it under there. Look the mini sink. Bear with me a minute folks lift that out I can show you a bit better you know there you go folks look I cleaned it it's uh, see the little mini plug look see how small that is look bloody hell so we put hot water down there so it's, that's all clean there this is a mini wardrobe in here folks uh, you can hang your coat so it's like a little TARDIS as you can see down in there and uh, you can store lots of bits and pieces and in here You've got like access to like the I think the pumps in there and you can put like miscellaneous bits and pieces in there, which is pretty cool man. And of course up here you've got like a mini cabinet to put I just got crap in there at the minute, but put bits and pieces in there, which is all good. <laughs> and down here you've got like a, a cupboard. I'll just move the heat, I've got it on in a minute just to keep the cold out. You've got like a mini cupboard in here. I've got a bit of crap in there at the minute, but you know, we'll put like tins in there. I think that's what we're doing there. 
I've only got another little cupboard down here, which I haven't got a clue what I'm going to use that for. But, uh, whoops. We will definitely use it, folks. There you go. We will use it. I ain't got a clue what for. Stable doors as well. And you've got these little table things here, which come down. We've got to do a bit of alterations with them, but, you know, it's quite handy. Which is cool, man. So we'll just put the sink lid stroke tray, whatever, back on. So now we'll just go and show you the outside, folks. See what you think. So here's the back. Shore power. Wheels looking rather nice. See, we've got a bit of corrosion here to deal with. We'll put a bit of undercoat on it at the minute to keep it back. Oh, we've got to get new mirrors because these are knackered at the bottom. Look, wheels looking good. And of course, look at that. That's looking good, isn't it? Tread's good as well. <coughs> Got a bit of corrosion here to deal with, but that's where they normally go. The tread on that tire is looking right good, and the wheel that I painted up is looking fantastic. So we've got a bit of corrosion in under there, which uh, we make Chris told me about. And also we've got to do this. Look, this is the seal, and obviously the previous owner in the past has put um, silicone in here, and it's just it's just wrong. It's the wrong stuff. So we've got some Sikaflex to go in there. So that's the next big job. So as you can see, look, we've actually had to seal this window because it was leaking bad. I've got a bit of a bit of Sikaflex that I've got to take off there, but you know, it's that's the worst of it really. But it's all sealed for now for for winter. And uh, as you can see, look, it's not it's not the best of jobs, but it's sealed, so it should be all right for now. So. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next Explore, folks. Take care of yourselves. Cheers and gone.